the purpose of the APTA private practice is really to create a bridge for those individuals that want to reach out and, and build these relationships with the whole intent of, of serving local communities and continuing from a local community level to a state level to a national level. Um, there really is a ton of work for practicing physical therapists out in our local community. You know, so look over 22 two years, you enter into uh, clinical practice or private practice and you're super excited, right? You have these this idea that this is just gonna be this amazing thing that you can have control over and you can financially benefit from. And then as you go through the cycles of owning a business, you're gonna deal with growth and you're gonna deal with, with issues uh, in HR that you just need to reach out and extend the hand to those other colleagues that have already been through that growth process or they've dealt with that HR issue. So it truly is all about relationships building as well as maintaining those relationships if you're participating on a regular basis. So when I go to the private practice section meetings, I'm excited, I'm invigorated about being a physical therapist and, and being around my peers and learning more about what they're doing so I can not have blinders. I can understand what our, our group is doing as a whole. And then I can also bring a new and fresh perspective on kind of what I see. And that's the world of healthcare innovation, where healthcare hopefully is gonna go and I want physical therapists to be at that table. I have stayed a member because of 100% hands down the people. I have gained so many wonderful relationships and valuable mentorship over the last four years that that is always the first thing I tell people when they ask why I'm involved or a part of APTA private practice is the networking and the connections that I've made that have pushed me into a lot of different opportunities and into ownership.